Hi everyone. Uh, I thought I'd tell you the story of my foghorn leghorn coin. The one that I uh, did the original sculpture. This this plaster I've had for many years. I've carried it with me over 35 years. Um, it's one of many that I did during the sculpture of this thing. It took me about 40 hours over the course of a week or so doing the various uh, sculpting in negative and positive. But I had this plaster. My brother, who's a coin sculptor and a coin producer, mentor, uh, offered to repair it, fix it up, and uh, mint a coin for me. I hadn't seen the coin uh, ever in metal. I'd only seen it in a, a little lead stamping, which I'll show you after this. But there's the repaired plaster. He sent me uh, photos and little uh, video clips of what he did. This is the repaired plaster and then from that uh, he he will cast a an epoxy which is very hard and durable there you see him uh, actually cutting the die you see that mirrored finish there uh, he's putting the oil on you see the cutting tip uh, on the die sorry for the quality of the video I guess his uh, conditions and camera weren't that great but uh, here in a second he'll show you the setup it goes from the uh, kind of a, a mechanical pantograph out to this cutting head, this die, this uh, grinding head. There you see the stylus is tracing the pattern on the epoxy that he made. Uh, you see the tail going by there as he's uh, tracing that out. There's the die after he cut it, and there he's heat treating it, and there's the finished heat treated die. This is the lead stamping, the only metal version I had seen of this thing in the 35 years since I did it. Um, and I, again, I've carried this around with me for a long time. You see it's kind of battered. It looked better when I first got it. <laughs> but, uh, of course, he went through all that process in the beginning when that text was there. He removed the text uh, because it, it just didn't look that great. There's the finished coin that he sent me. He sent me this coin in the mail after he had struck it on his press. And I decided that uh, I'd try to scan this coin. I've tried to scan it ever since I got my original Pop. Uh, then with the Pop 2 and then with the Beta Mini and then they finally got the software good enough and tight enough that we could do a coin scan. And so I've been doing uh, scans of coins that I have. Of course I have quite a few since my brother is a coin maker. <laughs> There's the finished scan. I don't know why it's jumping and jittering like that. Uh, in my video recording I guess but anyway there you have it the story of the foghorn leghorn thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next scan I've been doing a lot of scans lately and just saving them away I have a lot a lot of stuff in the can but uh, I'll try to get back to them and do some more videos anyway thanks for watching I'll see you on the next scan good scans everyone bye now